Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Fisher Online. Today I am back in Italy and I found a very, very cool spot. Uh, thank you, Skill, uh, Skillfully, uh, for sharing this spot with us uh, during the stream. And I really, really enjoyed the spot. So in this spot, guys, uh, we're going to fish from here into the ocean and then we can fly fish down the river there. I will show you everything. Uh, so let's just come over here and this is right here on the map. I'll zoom out. Okay, I am at K as in kangaroo, K7. Nothing specific. K7 if you need a marker, it's 183.92. Okay, and we are going to cast straight ahead with all of our strength. Okay, and you see this? There is a fishing van. Where we can sell our fish right here it's absolutely amazing and fly fishing we're gonna go all the way up to the waterfall and fly fish over there and from this spot we can do bottom fishing float fishing and spin fishing oh yes uh as for bottom fishing let's go ahead put lucky fishing we're using a nereus uh, as we do, I've put a 65 gram weight on my rod so I can cast it as far as possible. I also have a sound mod on. Uh, so these rods sound cool and different. Well, not different, but they definitely sound cool. I do have 17 kg leaders on everything too. Uh, so keep that in mind. You can use heavier leaders. I don't know if that's going to make a difference but these are small fish mostly so that's why i'm using small leaders even though i have 43 kg set up here areas again uh i have a weighted weight which means i will cast really far and you want to cast really far with your float uh so that it's not in the current and it floats away because if you uh if you cast close by, it will float away from the current. And then with uh, spin fishing, you can use the Cyclops M2, which is absolutely amazing. Or you can put a medium jig head and use Worm 1. Worm 1 is amazing. I'm going to use this first. But to buy Worm 1, you need 5 tokens. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you want to spend that or not. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm casting it this way. So you need a boat to come here, obviously. But once you get, once you come here, it's super easy. So I'm just reeling it in and right-clicking. And just wait until I get a fish, basically. Guys, please don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying it. And I hope you find this helpful. I hope you get tons of fish from the spot. Please comment below if you do. And uh, please subscribe if uh, you want to watch more. I'm doing a lot of other fishing game videos. And other cool indie games. And I hope uh, you are into that stuff as well. So let's see what we can get at this spot. Mozzarella. Uh, not the records. Let's go ahead and check the quests here. Standard, ooh, Dorad Aruda. Wow, that is a very rare mission. That's cool. Club Supply 14. Uh, I don't know if we're going to catch these. I'll take them anyway. And that's what you do. So sometimes it is slow. Italy is very weird in Fisher Online. Uh, sometimes it'll be very slow and then all of a sudden it picks up and you're catching fish left and right. So you just gotta wait it out. You gotta be patient here. This is the right spot. You will catch a lot of stuff. Uh, but you just gotta wait till it starts. <laughs> so you will catch fish on every single setup. You can try different baits as well. Um, shrimp, uh, tuna, I've caught a 15 kg tuna from here on worm. I have caught squid, 1.5 kg squid on blood where in, when it's nighttime. It's a really, really cool spot. 
There we go. We're getting something. Okay. Let me quickly just reel this in. Let's see what fish we get. Now we have, remember, 17 kg liter, so my break is at 11. Uh, but there is absolutely nothing that will spool you. I have nothing that spooled me here. And a DK. Uh, a DK slide and other uh, guys were here as well. And they have ha never had anything spool them as well. So only your spin fishing setup should be the one that gets that might get spooled and only the tuna is big enough to actually spool you. There shouldn't be anything else. But look at that, that's a blue fish, isn't it? Is it not? Oh that's a large dorid Urata. I do not want to give this away to the quest because this is gonna be worth money. But we will take it without quest. That's so big, I thought it was a bluefish. I'm gonna throw there, and that's it. And uh, keep on fishing. Hey, we got something. Okay, what is this? Doesn't seem too big. Nothing big, so maybe not a tuna. Or a very small tuna. That is... what is that? Oh, that is a tuna. 3.7 kg tuna. Look at how shiny this fish is. Uh, so yeah, tuna is the only thing you gotta be worried about. Uh, so make sure your spin setup is a nice one. All this very rare that you might get. Well, I've only ever been spooled once by a tuna on my... I think it was an 18 kg and fishing setup at the time. So. Hey, what are you? There you go. So you can catch tuna. You can get the dorade. You can get all sorts of fish. You can get. Uh, wood at night. Is that another dorade? No, that's not a dorade. That's a sea bass. Ebaz Lavrak. Very, very common fish. This. Loadfish, nothing so far, but uh, we will get something soon enough. And I love this float because you will actually see it blink from afar when uh, you do have a fish on. Once again, our number one is getting something here. Nice sized fish. Once again, um, yeah, floatfish not getting or as much as our bottom, but you know what? Um, don't count out the float. Oh, the float depth should be five meters. I forgot to mention. So maybe I haven't set it to five meters. Maybe that's the issue. And there we go. That's a flounder. Oh, that's a turbo. Look at that. 2020 is the XP just for 4.5 kg. Amazing XP. So let me see here. I don't think the depth reset it. But make sure your depth is at 5 meters. Yeah, see that's why I wasn't getting any bites. You gotta do this to 5 meters. Okay, 5.2. Don't care centimeter or two won't hurt anyone. There we go. I think we should start getting bites now. Like we got something here. Nothing big. What are you fishy? That's a sea bass again. Yeah, that's a sea bass, 3.3 kg. I am going to switch this out. Switch this out for our Cyclops M2. And uh, see how that goes. Look at that, look at that, look at that. 
Our float. Our float got something. Did you see that? Did you see the blinking? Usually fish take a long time uh, to hook on on the float so you can actually see the light blink for a while. But today, while I'm recording, man, it just... <laughs> that fish took it. It was hungry. I wanted to show you guys. So at 5 meter depth, uh, we're finally getting something here. This. Dorade Autara 3kg. Sadly, this fish is not pay well. Unless it's big. That's why we're just going to donate it. We need two more pieces. And we can get a huge club, club supply. Look at that. Our float is getting something here. Yes. Yes. Uh oh. Bottom is getting something too. I have to wait till uh, the fish gets hooked. Right now it's just nibbling on it. I love these floats. So good. I had no idea it was, uh, you know, there are these types of floats around too where movement will turn the light on. That's so genius. The taking it. No, it's not. So annoying. I absolutely hate float fishing. It's absolute garbage. I've never had this much bad luck with float fishing. For the last 15 minutes, I've had so many fish uh, that nibbled on it. And then when I yanked it or reeled it in, uh, they weren't actually hooked. So during nighttime, guys, you can put a small hook and put blood on in on float and bottom and you will have a very good chance at catching uh squid but i am not gonna bother with that even on spin fishing with the worm and uh with the cyclops you have a chance of catching a squid if you really want the squid uh bottom and float is your best bet you have the highest chance of getting them. But I, like I said, not I'm not going to bother with them right now because they are absolutely worthless. And I'm just uh, in for a different fish for now. Uh, if you look at their core card, we have a few tunas. We have a sea bass. We have turbot. Nothing big though. Uh, but it's only a matter of time. Usually, I think in the morning, the late morning is when I've gotten like those 9 kg turbos. Uh, I also got another mozzarella and I ended up completing that quest. So let's see how it goes. In the morning, we will go fly fishing. All right, once again, we have something on the float. Getting a lot of bites on the float now for the pet, like the entire night. Not much on the bottom, but a lot on the float and I've missed every single one on the float. Is this going to be the one? Where I actually catch the fish. What is going on? Hey, we got it. We got it. Yes. Okay, finally. Damn. It only took us seven tries. <laughs> Uh, float fishing is a lot easier in this game than in RF4. So I've never had this issue, but man, today, I don't know what's wrong. 1.8 kg sea bass, not what I wanted after all those tries. Alrighty, guys, so I just moved a little bit to the right to the mouth of the river. Uh, I will pull up the map and show you. I do have a fish here on the bottom, finally. Uh, I've been catching fish non-stop on my spin fishing setup. I will show you the fish net in just a moment. And that will be our biggest turbo yet. How big are you? 10.6 kg turbo. 130 
plus fish right there, I would say. So I am right here. Uh, which is K7. K7 at the mouth of the river. I'm just facing that way. And see into the deep end. Uh, we were right over there. On that rock over there. And we just moved over here. I would say anywhere. Honestly, around, uh, on this coast here, into the deep end, you will do good. It is morning, so I feel like it's a lot more active now. So it just could be it. Or maybe just this spot is better. I I don't know. Um, but like I said, it's sometimes it will be off, and then all of a sudden it will turn on. Dorothy Royale that it has that special sign uh, but it isn't even a marker I couldn't even uh, oh this is a royale not an arata so let me reel in one last time and then we will go spin fishing because it is 6 a.m. in game now uh, spin fishing, sorry, fly fishing, I meant to say. Uh, fly fishing, extremely slow. Uh, this isn't the map for fly fishing. But I came here and did fly fishing. Uh, because you can catch asp and... Asp and chub? Air. And those were the only two fish on this map that I hadn't caught. And guess what? I caught both of them, one after the other. And I completed my scorecard and I got a trophy medallion in my profile for c catching all the fish on this app. 8.8 .8 kg tuna. Man, this is really good. Look at that. On worm 1, ever since I moved here, I've caught bluefish, tuna 9 kg, 5 kg bluefish, 5 kg pringles. 10.6 kg large turbo on the bottom feeder. Another 8.8 .8 kg tuna. So this is a really good spot. 184.91 is the spot, I would say. So let's go spin fishing here. Uh, I'll remove this. I'll put my spin fishing. Now the only thing that's worked for me is the Reuben Fly Grasshopper. That's a dry fly. That's the only thing that has worked for me here. So let's go ahead, go back. Now you want to go all the way to the back here, right where the river starts, where the waterfall is, this beautiful waterfall. It sounds so good. Okay, all the way to the end. There we go, that's it. Look at how foggy it is right now in the morning, early, early morning. That's really cool. So this is the waterfall. You can even walk into this just a little bit though or else you'll drown and uh, respawn. Okay, but you don't need to. You can come right here. Take out your spin. You don't need to throw it too far. Don't throw it too far. And then you just do rip. Double. And usually as soon as you throw you'll get a bite. Or just a little bit later, you'll get a bite. But again, it's extremely slow. So, uh, don't expect to catch much. But Chub and Asp are here. If you do need to, uh, complete your scorecard, which is fish on the lake, you'll see all the fish you've caught here. If you don't see, like, the picture of the fish, that means you haven't caught the fish. So here, I caught all the fish there are to catch. And I will show you my profile. Profile. And ho here you go. Trophies off the lake. The trophies awarded for capturing all the fish on the lake. Italy. Which is where we are. I've caught all the fish here. That's pretty sweet. I think a lot of the earlier lakes. Like. Starting Pond. France. Uh, and a few other lakes I don't remember the names of. I've caught almost all the fish. I just have tiny fish that I haven't caught. Maybe in the future I can target the small fish. 
And if you guys want, I can record a video on where to catch these small fish. Because I never know. I have to ask around when I stream. And fortunately, unlike other uh, RF4 game, where uh, fishing fish spots, active spots keep changing. Uh, in this game, they don't change. They're permanent. So all the videos I've released, all of those spots should be good. From the very beginning when I made the video of Russia, active sterlet spot, that video should still be good. The bait, the spot, clip, everything should be uh, good even so many months later. And that's what I like about this game. Anyone can share their spot and it will be good for you. So yeah, this is basically the spot extremely slow, like I said, but you have a chance, a very good chance of catching Cub an ass pair. And if for some time you don't catch anything, just reel it in. That's what I do. Just reel it in, recast. I've noticed a lot of the times as soon as you recast, you'll get a fish right away or just a few seconds later. So, keep doing that. If, if it's been a while, then reel it in and recast. Man, it's just so beautiful here. Trees, there's fog, there's sun coming up. Uh, there's this frothy, turbulent water right behind you. Sound of the fall. Really cool. So, I'm not going to bother anymore. Um, this spot does work. I have streamed here and I've showed that this spot does work. Look at that waterfall. It's so cool. So let's go back. Let's see if we have any fish on our float or feeder. If, if I don't, then I'm going to go straight ahead to the shop and sell. And let's see how much money I've earned. Wow, that is so beautiful. That's legit. Nice work, wolf. On the shader slash graphic overhaul that he's done recently. Looks beautiful. Do we have anything? Nothing yet. I'm very sure if I throw my spin fishing setup, I'm going to get a fish. So the shop is right here that you can see. So let's go back. Uh, each of those tunas I think should be almost 100 silver. The 10 kg turbo. Should be over a hundred silver, so four five hundred silver minimum. Nine hundred silver, there you go. Hundred forty four silver, this large turbo. Look at this tuna, nine kg sixty five silver. That's disappointing. I really expected tuna to be a lot more valuable because nine kg is a rare tuna. You won't catch nine and eight kg tunas regularly. Uh, mullet Pringle. Look at how expensive this fish is. 62 kg for a 5.8. 62 silver for the 5.8 kg. And then we have our turbos. Uh, bluefish. And yeah, 915 silver. That is pretty sweet. I really hope, guys, this video helped you out. Check out the spot. If you catch a trophy, please let me know in the comments. If, you've, if this video helped you out, please, again, let me know in the comments. Like the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and if you're enjoying this content. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until the very next time, guys. Enjoy. And let me just quickly reel the fish in before I end. Can this be a mozzarella? Bluefin. Sea bass. I think sea bass is the answer. They're the most common. Here. That is a mullet Pringle. There we go. Alright guys, that's it from me.